The Lydians were an Anatolian people living in Lydia, a region in western Anatolia, who spoke the distinctive Lydian language, an Indo-European language of the Anatolian group. Questions raised regarding their origins, as defined by the language and reaching well into the second millennium BC, continue to be debated by language historians and archaeologists. A distinct Lydian culture lasted, in all probability, until at least shortly before the Common Era, having been attested the last time among extant records by Strabo in Kibera in southwest Anatolia around his time. The Lydian capital was at Sfard or Sardis. Their recorded history of statehood, which covers three dynasties traceable to the Late Bronze Age, reached the height of its power and achievements during the 7th and 6th centuries BC, a time which coincided with the demise of the power of neighboring Phrygia which lay to the northeast of Lydia. Lydian power came to an abrupt end with the fall of their capital in events subsequent to the Battle of Halys in 585 BC and defeat by Cyrus the Great. In 546 BC, language and script, Lydian texts discovered to date are not numerous and usually short, but close liaisons maintained between leading scholars of Anatolian linguistics enables constant impetus and progress in the field. New epigraphical findings, evidence being added and new words being recorded continuously. Nevertheless, a real breakthrough for the understanding of the Lydian language has not occurred yet. Presently available texts begin around the mid-7th century and extend until the 2nd century BC, which leads one scholar to conclude. Lydians wrote early, but, in the light of the available sources, it seems, they did not write much religion. A number of Lydian religious concepts may well go back to the early Bronze Age and even late Stone Age, such as the vegetation goddess Kor, the snake and bull cult, the thunder and rain god and the double axe as a sign of thunder, the mountain mother goddess assisted by lions, associable or not to the more debated Kuvava. The difficulty in compounding Lydian religion and mythology remains as reciprocal contacts and transfer with ancient Greek concepts occurred for over a millennium from the Bronze Age to classical times, as pointed out by archaeological explorers of Lydia, Artemu and Erdans have strong Anatolian components in Cybele Rhea, the mother of gods and Baki went from Anatolia to Greece, while both in Lydia and Caria, Lefs preserved strong local characteristics all at the same sharing the name of its Greek equivalent, among other divine figures of the Lydian pantheon which still remain relatively obscure, Sante, Kuvava's escort and sometimes a hero burned on a pyre, and Marivda, associated with darkness, may be cited, Lydians in literature and arts. Niobe, daughter of Tantalus and Ione and sister of Pelops and Broteas, had known Arachne, a Lydian woman, when she was still in Lydia, Meonia in her father's land near to Mount Cypolis, according to Ovid's account. These eponymous figures may have corresponded to the obscure ages associated with the semi-legendary dynasty of the Atiads and or Tantalids and situated around the time of the emergence of a Lydian nation from their predecessors and or previous identities as Meonians and Luvians. Several accounts on the dynasty of Tylonids succeeding the Atiads and or Tantalids are available and once into the last Lydian dynasty of Mermnads. The legendary accounts surrounding Ring of Jijas, and Jijas's later enthronement to the Lydian throne and foundation of the new dynasty. By replacing the king Candaulus, the last of the Talanids, this in alliance with Candaulus's wife who then became in his queen. Elidian stories in the full sense of the term, as recounted by Herodotus, who himself may have borrowed his passages from Xanthus of Lydia. A Lydian who had reportedly written the history of his country slightly earlier in the same century. Several expressions on Lydians were in common use in ancient Greek and in Latin languages, and a collection and detailed treatment of these were done by Erasmus in his Adagia. There are also several works of visual arts depicting Lydians and or using as theme subject matters of Lydian history.